MSN exam for Cushing syndrome. Question 1. Cushing's disease and Cushing's syndrome have the same cause. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. They have the same effect. Disease is a pituitary cause. Syndrome is an adrenal cause. Question 2. You assess a patient with Cushing's disease. For which finding will you notify the physician immediately? A. Purple striae present on abdomen and thighs. B. Weight gain of one pound since the previous day. C. Plus one dependent edema in ankles and calves. D. Crackles bilaterally in lower lobes of lungs. MSN exam for Cushing syndrome. Answer, D. Crackles bilaterally in lower lobes of lungs. The presence of crackles in the patient's lungs indicate excess fluid volume due to excess water and sodium reabsorption and may be a symptom of pulmonary edema, which must be treated rapidly. Striae stretch marks, weight gain, and dependent edema are common findings in patients Cushing's disease. These findings should be monitored, but are not urgent. Focus, prioritization. Question 3. As the shift begins, you are assigned these patients. Which patient should you assess first? A. A 38-year-old patient with Graves' disease and a heart rate of 94-slash-minute. B. A 63-year-old patient with type 2 diabetes and finger stick glucose of 137 mg slash dl C. A 58-year-old patient with hypothyroidism and heart rate of 48 slash minute. D. A 49-year-old patient with Cushing's disease and plus one dependent edema. Answer. C. A 58-year-old patient with hypothyroidism and heart rate of 48 slash minute. Although patients with hypothyroidism often have cardiac problems that include bradycardia, a heart rate of 48 slash minute may have significant implications for cardiac output and hemodynamic stability. Patients with Graves' disease usually have a rapid heart rate, but 94 slash minute is within limits. The diabetic patient may need sliding scale insulin. This is important but not urgent. Patients with Cushing's disease frequently have dependent edema. Focus, prioritization. MSN exam for Cushing syndrome. Answer. D. Crackles by lap. Question 3. As the shift begins, you are assigned these patients. Answer, A. Moon face, C. Osteoporosis, D. Acne. S. S include fatty abdomen and thinning limbs, euphoria is not a S. S. Answer, D. Crackles bilaterally in lower lobes of lungs. The presence of crackles in the patient's lungs indicate excess fluid volume due to excess water and sodium reabsorption and may be a symptom of pulmonary edema, which must be treated rapidly. Striae stretch marks, weight gain, and dependent edema are common findings in patients Cushing's disease. These findings should be monitored, but are not urgent. Question 2. You assess a patient with Cushing. Answer. C. 
a 58-year-old patient with hypothyroidism and heart rate of 48-slash-minute. Although patients with hypothyroidism often have cardiac problems that include bradycardia, a heart rate of 48 slash minute may have significant implications for cardiac output and hemodynamic stability. Patients with Graves disease usually have a rapid heart rate, but 94 slash minute is within limits. The diabetic patient may need sliding scale insulin. This is important but not urgent. Patients with Cush question 7 Nurse Ron is assessing a client with possible Cushing syndrome. In a client with Cushing syndrome, the nurse would expect to find a hypotension, b thick, coarse skin, c deposits of adipose tissue in the trunk and dorsal cervical area, d weight gain in arms and legs. Answer, C. Deposits of adipose tissue in the trunk and dorsal cervical area. Because of changes in fat distribution, adipose tissue accumulates in the trunk, face moon face, and dorsal cervical areas buffalo hump. Hypertension is caused by fluid retention. Skin becomes thin and bruises easily because of a loss of collagen. Muscle wasting causes muscle atrophy and thin extremities. Question 2. You assess a patient with Cushing's disease. For which finding will you notify the physician immediately? A. Purple striae present on abdomen and thighs. B. Weight gain of 1 pound since the previous day. Answer. C. A 58 year. Answer. B. False. They have the same effect. Answer, A. Cushing syndrome. The patient with Cushing syndrome demonstrates troncal obesity, moon face, acne, abdominal striae, and hypertension. In Addison's disease, the patient experiences chronic adrenocortical insufficiency. In Graves disease, the patient experiences hyperthyroidism. The individual with Hashimoto's disease demonstrates inflammation of the thyroid gland resulting in hypothyroidism. Question 10. Which gland does Cushing's syndrome originate in? A. Pituitary B. Pineal C. Pancreas D. Gonads Answer, A. Cushing syndrome. Answer, D. Adenomal benign tumor. Question 12. A female client with Cushing syndrome is admitted to the medical surgical unit. During the admission assessment, nurse does notes that the client is agitated and irritable, has poor memory, reports loss of appetite, and appears disheveled. These findings are consistent with which problem? A. Depression. B. Neuropathy. C. Hypoglycemia. D. Hyperthyroidism. Answer. A. Depression. Agitation, irritability, poor memory, loss of appetite, and neglect of one's appearance may signal depression which is common in clients with Cushing syndrome.
neuropathy affects clients with diabetes mellitus, not Cushing syndrome. Although hypoglycemia can cause irritability, it also produces increased appetite, rather than loss of appetite. Hyperthyroidism typically causes such signs as goiter, nervousness, heat intolerance, and weight loss despite increased appetite. Answer A. Cushing syndrome. The patient with Cushing syndrome demonstrates obesity, moon face, acne, abdominal striae, and hypertension. In Addison's disease, the patient experiences chronic adrenocortical insufficiency. In Graves' disease, the patient experiences Question 3, as the shift begins. Question 12, a female client with Cushing's syndrome is admitted to the medical Answer A. Serum glucose level. Hyperglycemia, which develops from glucocorticoid excess, is a manifestation of Cushing's syndrome. With successful treatment of the disorder, serum glucose levels decline. Hirsutism is common in Cushing syndrome, therefore, with successful treatment, abnormal hair growth also declines. Osteoporosis occurs in Cushing's syndrome, therefore, with successful treatment, bone mineralization increases. Amenorrhea develops in Cushing's syndrome. With successful treatment, the client experiences a return of menstrual flow, not a decline in it. Answer C. Deposits of adipose tissue in the trunk and dorsal cervical area. Because of changes in fat distribution, Adipose tissue accumulates in the trunk, face moon face, and dorsal cervical areas buffalo hump. Hypertension is caused by fluid retention. Skin becomes thin and bruises easily because of a loss of collagen. Muscle wasting causes muscle atrophy and thin extremities. Question 12. A female client with Answer A. Tetany Tetany may result if the parathyroid glands are excised or damaged during thyroid surgery. Hemorrhage is a potential complication after thyroid surgery but is characterized by tachycardia, hypotension, frequent swallowing, feelings of fullness at the incision site, choking, and bleeding. Thyroid storm is another term for severe hyperthyroidism, not a complication of thyroidectomy. Laryngeal nerve damage may occur postoperatively, but its signs include a hoarse voice and, possibly, acute airway obstruction. Question 16. The old woman told John that she has osteoporosis. Arthur knew that all of the following factors would contribute to osteoporosis except A. Hypothyroidism B. End-stage renal disease C. Cushing's disease. D. Taking furosemide and phenetone. Answer A. Hypothyroidism. Question 12. A female client with Cushing's syndrome is admitted to the medical surgical unit. During the admission assessment, nurse does notes that the client is agitated and irritable has poor memory, reports loss of appetite, and appears disheveled. These findings are consistent with which pro- Answer, A. Cushing syndrome. Answer, D. Fatty disease.
Answer. C. Immune response. Corticosteroids suppress eosinophils, lymphocytes, and natural killer cells, inhibiting the natural inflammatory process in an infected or injured part of the body. This helps resolve inflammation, stabilizes lysosomal membranes, decreases capillary permeability, and depresses phagocytosis of tissues by white blood cells, thus blocking the release of more inflammatory materials. Excessive corticosteroid therapy can lead to Cushing syndrome. Question 19. Nurse Sugar is assessing a client with Cushing syndrome. Which observation should the nurse report to the physician immediately? A. Pitting edema of the legs. B. An irregular apical pulse. C. Dry mucous membranes. D. Frequent urination. Question 20. The nurse's planning room assignments for the day. Which client should be assigned to a private room if only one is available? A. The client with Cushing's disease. B. The client with diabetes. C. The client with acromegaly. D. The client with Mike's edema. <laughs> Answer, A. Cushing syndrome. The patient with Cushing syndrome demonstrates stronchal obesity, moon face, acne, abdominal striae, and hypertension. In Addison's disease, the patient experiences chronic adrenocortical insufficiency. In Graves' disease, the patient experiences hyperthyroidism. The individual with Hashimoto's disease demonstrates inflammation of the thyroid gland resulting in hypothyroidism. Answer, C. Bacon Grease. Question 1, Cushing's disease and Cushing. Answer, B. Adrenal, cortisol.